Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. And if you hate my movies, blame Sundance, because the Sundance Film Festival is where I got started. I started with Clerks there, boom, suddenly I had a career after that. It was a Cinderfella story, but I wasn't the only one. There have been many filmmakers who you probably love that came from Sundance to Prominance. That's how we pronounce it in Jersey. Let's do a list, shall we? Ever hear of a little picture called Memento, directed by a nobody named Chris Nolan? Nothing ever happened to that guy again. It was all dark nights from there on in. Blood Simple was made by two filmmakers you've never heard of with the same name, the Coen Brothers. Where are they now? Oh brother, where are they now? Ever hear of a little picture called Reservoir Dogs, directed by a man with a very funny sounding name like Zamboni, Quentin Tarantino? Of course not, man. That'd be a Pulp Fiction tale, you ever heard of that guy? El Mariachi Man, directed by a guy named Robert Rodriguez, whose career went on to something you could actually spy, kids. You didn't like that lame pun? Fine, try this one, man. I could watch Robert Rodriguez movies from dusk till dawn. Who is Kaiser Soze? We would have never known were it not for the usual suspects. Directed by Brian Singer, who then went on to have a lot of X-rated movies in his career. Did you ever see Brick by Super Duper Looper Ryan Johnson? His career sank like a brick after. I don't think he's doing anything these days. Heard he was doing some TV or something, something like episode eight of something, I don't know. There were two young filmmakers, uh, Dan Myrick and Eduardo Sanchez, who made a movie for $25,000. That movie is called The Blair Witch Project. That movie made more money than every other movie at Sundance put together at the box office. I don't think that's true, but you can look it up on IMDb. Spider-Man, Spider-Man got his start at Sundance, man, because the last two directors of Spider-Man Mark Webb, he directed 500 Days of Summer, and John Watts, he directed Cop Car, and now he's directed Spider-Man Homecoming, man. Ooh, what a tangle web they weave. Damien Chazelle came up here with whiplash and drummed up a career, man. Now he's off to La La Land. And Morgan Spurlock supersized me. Not only was commercially successful, but it literally changed the way McDonald's did business. They got rid of supersizing after that documentary. That's how powerful Sundance directors can be. All of your favorite filmmakers got their starts at Sundance. Who's it gonna be this year? Let's find out together, man, when I am the special correspondent for IMDb's coverage of Sundance 2017. Thank you.